Hello YouTube! Got something new in the mail today. It involves the drone. It's exciting, it's fun. It's something I designed. What we've got here is a skin. I got on board the skin train. This was made by decalgirl.com. I designed it, I used images from free wallpaper available on the internet and created my own design for a skin to go on the drone. I thought, what is really cool? What's all about technology? What's all about artificial intelligence that I could make and design to stick on the drone? And I thought, I thought and thought and thought and I came up with the Terminator. So I've got a picture here of a Terminator. It's gonna go on the top. It says, my CPU is a neural net processor. That's a famous line from the very first film. On the back of the drone is gonna be another Terminator with some flames that says, I'll be back. It's kind of small, but it gets the message. It's on the back side when he's flying, when it's flying away from you, it says, I'll be back. Cause you always hope that your drone's gonna come back, right? Especially you hit that return to home button and you hope and pray and dream that that drone's gonna come back. So on the bottom, it's gonna say Skynet. I also had it print out my registration number and my phone number, I've got those covered up. And up top is the controller, pretty cool. It's got a neat looking picture of a Terminator. It says Skynet on it. Back legs are gonna have some flames that should really kind of make it stand out against the sky. Um, the front arms are gonna have red and just like in the movies, you have the model, uh, the T-800, the T-1000, T-2000, all that. So a lot of people call the Mavic Air 2 an MA-2. So I decided to call it a T-MA-2. Thought that'd be kind of cool. Got extra battery pack uh, um, skins so that it'll fit in with the, the main one. And then finally for the legs on it, it's just gonna have like more of the red pattern and it's a Cyberdyne, which is uh, part of the Skynet Corporation that designed the Terminators. So that's the introduction to the skin. And again, shout out, I got it from decalgirl.com. They got an awesome website where you can lay out and design your own stuff. You can do it for phones, tablets, computers, drones, whatever you want. And then they'll print it out a couple days later. Bam, you've got it ready to put on. It's all uh, 3M, high quality looking stuff. So I'm gonna start putting this skin on. I guess it's kind of a time consuming process a little bit. So I'll probably end up time lapsing some of it, but I definitely wanna show off the finished product when it's all said and done. So it does come with some instructions. Uh, the instructions say to make sure your equipment's really clean. So it says you can wipe it down with like a wet cloth, but don't use any kind of chemicals. I use, my stuff was already pretty clean. I used a dry paper towel just to make sure that there was no residue of any kind in there. And it says to wash your hands. So I washed that. I guess the idea is you don't want to get anything on the sticky backs for of the decals before you put them down so that there's no interference when you're putting the stuff on. Uh, so it also, there's got videos on their website that you can watch on how to do it. I find it helpful a lot of times. I learned this tip from my dad. Shout out to dear old dad. Um, to use a pocket knife sometimes when you're putting decals on, it can really help to get under the edge and you can be a lot more precise with placement. Plus you're not getting the stickiness onto your skin and wearing it off before you actually want it to stick down to the surface you're getting it on. And you can like peel it on and off and on and off and get everything lined up before you, you set it down. Uh, dear old dad was always real meticulous with my decals, which I appreciated. Uh, when I was a kid, get a toy, Star Wars, G.I. Joe or something, they always had tons of decals, especially those G.I. Joe ones, had all those clear back decals that were such a pain. And, and dad was very meticulous about it. And my toys always looked perfect. It was so much better than uh, ki other kids out there that slapped their own stickers on left and right, wherever they wanted, or didn't have any stickers because my dad's an engineer and everything, he put them on perfectly every time. And my toys always look perfect like that. So I appreciate that. Anyway, so that's that's a tip for it for you guys. Sometimes using a knife can help. All right, I'm excited to get some piece of this thing on. So I think I'm gonna start with the, I think I'm gonna start with the, uh, 
So I'm excited to get some piece of this thing on. So I'm gonna start with the remote, um, just to get a big major piece on and see how that looks. They do say in the instructions to take out the, the little pieces that are in between, they call it weeding. So the, the pieces that are gonna have to come out of the bigger piece of the decal before you put it on. So like these buttons, you're not gonna cover up your buttons. So you're actually not gonna put those on when you're, so I'm gonna pop these out of the decal before I pull the rest of the decal off of the backing. All right, I've got the pieces taken off. Got my remote here. So now I'm gonna use my knife. Try to peel back a corner. And I'm gonna pull that out. Use my fingers just a little bit here. Okay. So I got my decal loose. It says try to find an edge somewhere to line something up. But in this case, I'm gonna use the center switches. Try to line it up with those really good. And the DJI logo. So this one, I'm gently placing it down, making sure it all looks straight. Then I'm gonna kind of draw it with my finger, a line down the middle, and work my way outwards from there. Make sure I don't have any air bubbles, no creases, try to get everything lined up as nice and straight as I possibly can. this all down real nice. You can see it got the, um, it lined up perfectly on their template with the lights. You can see the lights shining through there. Got everything real nice and straight on here. All right, screw the joysticks back in. Okay, and that's that for the controller. That is pretty cool. Got the Skynet logo, got the Terminator. That is one cool looking controller right there. What's going on, YouTube? We're not gonna actually got the controller decal on, and I did one of the batteries. The battery, got the little battery button. That was kind of tough, but it did work. Um, you had to use, I used a paper clip. They have, you gotta knock out 
the little tiny holes for the battery level indicators. So I was able to get those out. The battery says my CPU is a neural net processor. I did notice on the controller on this little corner here and this one over here, I got kind of like a little wrinkle, but I think just the nature of how it wraps around and wraps around, I don't think that could be avoided. You might, maybe you might split it with a razor blade and then let them overlap each other instead of having that little wrinkle. I don't see any way for that to be avoided though. So now we're gonna move on to the body of the drone. I'm kind of nervous. There's a lot of pieces and some of them are big and some of them are little, but I'm gonna dive into it. I think I'm gonna start with some of the little ones first, like maybe the arms or the legs and um, kind of practice and save up the big stuff for towards the end. Okay, I got these that go on the legs. They say Cyberdyne on them, which is a division of uh, Skynet, I believe. Gonna go ahead and put these on. Cause they got a little notch on them. And the notch appears to go right there. All right, I'm gonna trace or slide my finger down the middle of it. Then I'm gonna wrap it around one side, wrap it around the other side. And slide down the seam on the back. All right, that worked. Now I'll go ahead and I'm gonna do the other one. Okay, I got both legs on. Now I'm gonna work on some of the arms. Got their template here. It shows you which decal corresponds to which part of the drone. So that's, that's the next step. I think I'm gonna do number 17 here. I'm just trying to figure out how it goes. It, it looks like it must go. Oh, I see. Okay, it must go on like that and then wrap around from the looks of it. This rounded part must go right here. All right, that makes sense. All right, it's a little more complicated than I expected. that's correct and I guess this wraps over and this one wraps over probably should have taken the propellers off that might actually help make things a little easier Okay, that wasn't so hard. Seems like it's not sticking so great in some spots. I'm kind of wondering if maybe I should have done a little better job of cleaning the drone off before I got started. Maybe I have a little bit of oil on my fingers or something.
Okay, I got the arms on, I got the legs on. It's a little harder than I expected to get everything lined up and straight and folded over. And it's also not sticking quite as well as I had hoped on some of the edges. I don't know if that's my user installation error. I'm doing the best I can. I just tried to clean it again a little bit more, hoping that maybe I'm the issue and that the rest of these decals will stick a little bit better as I go along. Now I'm gonna put on the one on the back, picture of the Terminator with flames and it says, I'll be back. This looks like it's actually a three piece decal. So this might be a little difficult to put on. Hopefully it goes on okay. Yes, it's kind of hard to get everything lined up just right, but I'm just going to do the best I can here. All right, I'm going to try the big main body next. This is uh, definitely harder than I expected. It's hard to put these on straight. and They're really not sticking as good as I thought they would. So that's, that's a little disappointing. I've got a couple of raised edges. I keep pushing the stuff back down. I'm just thinking up in the wind with the... Uh, Wear and tear and up in the end, in the, up in the wind and in and out of the case. I don't, I don't know the longevity of how this, well this is gonna work, but we'll keep going. I got all the decals installed. It didn't go as easy as I thought. Um, it was tough to line some of them up exactly. Little bubbles here and there, and then along some of the edges, it just seems like it doesn't really wrap and grip as much as I would like it to. So you've got, I think it's going to be a situation where every time you handle the drone, you're going to be trying to push the, um, push the decals down a little bit. It just feels like something I'm going to end up peeling off pretty soon. It, it really didn't, it didn't cost that much. I think it was like 25 bucks. Um, it also really didn't turn out as cool as I thought. Like the drone went from looking like a, a sophisticated professional grade tool to looking like a toy now. So I'm glad it wasn't a real big investment. Um, I don't know, it looks all right. It, it just, it, it didn't go on as great as I thought and it didn't stick as great as I thought it would. And I, I followed all the instructions and it just, to me, I don't know how really durable it's gonna be out in the elements and getting flown around a lot. I, I just feel like every time you handle it, you're gonna be pushing down little bubbles and seams and stuff, trying to make it, it stick perfectly. And plus, again, it just, it doesn't look like the, the gray professional tool that it was. Now all of a sudden it, it looks like a toy, which is my fault too, which the design I went with. Maybe if I just went with like a, a solid bright yellow or orange or something to stand out against the sky, that it, it would have still looked, you know, professional and looked good. Instead, this looks like a silly little toy. So here's the, the final product. It's got the flames and the red and the, the feet on it. Terminator, Terminator on the back. It says, I'll be back. You know, it's all right. It says Skynet on the sides, Skynet. Got the spare battery, got the controller. It's cool, but it's just, it doesn't scream professional. And I will be using the drone for some professional things, uh, shooting buildings and stuff like that. Hopefully making a little bit of money with it. And this, this just doesn't scream professional. This looks like a toy at this point. So I'm glad it didn't cost too much. I'll probably end up peeling it off at some point, but it was, uh, it was a fun experiment in the design process on the website. That was a lot of fun. So I could even see maybe doing that again, but with something that it didn't scream toy in the end.
So thanks for watching. Hope you like our content. Please give us a submit or a, a subscribe, um, like, comment. Really appreciate it. Thanks very much. Bye.